Hey, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how I create local city pages and get them to rank for a client of mine's around different areas that we can service, right? Now, my client does have a brick and mortar business, so we don't actually go to our clients. They come to us, right? So the whole reasoning behind having different landing pages for cities is because it can drive more visitors, more eyes to your website, right? And that's what you really want in SEO is to get the most that you can out of the organic search results. So creating these local city pages is a great way to get more visitors, get more calls and get more leads for your customer. Now there's several ways that you can do this. Now the approach that I take is I like to only focus on the closer nearby cities, right? Especially if you're a brick and mortar business, people don't want to drive, you know, over 30 minutes to come and visit you. So you do want to be strategic with the cities that you pick and you want to pick the closest cities that make sense for your business, right? So first of all, let me very quickly show you guys the rankings that we were able to obtain by creating these targeted city pages, right? So we first targeted a nearby city of Plano and we were able to get this position right here, which is very nice, right? We aren't actually located in this city, right? This is a nearby city that we could service clients, right? That clients could come to us and it is not too far and they would still be willing to come, right? That's a one city that we got. And then we have another city that we were also able to get just by simply creating these targeted city pages, right? So here it is. And let's go back. Now, one thing you want to take into consideration when you're creating these city pages is can you rank on the first page, right? Now, the first thing that you want to take in consideration is are the people that are already ranking, what type of URL structure are they using, right? So I'm assuming most of these are actually located in the actual city, right? And that's going to be a biggest competition when you're trying to rank in other cities is you're competing against actual business that are actually located in those cities, right? So you're going to have to be very strategic when you're planning out your on-page SEO strategy and so forth in order to compete, right? But if they're easy keywords to go after, then you should be good to go as long as your on-page is pretty good and your technical SEO is also pretty good. So you should be good to go if they are easy to target keywords. And one thing to take in consideration is, you know, how, it, how, how is their URL structure laid out, right? There might be other businesses that are trying to do the same thing, right? And you want to go ahead and take what Google is rewarding, what they're ranking on the first page and try to replicate it in your own way, in your own style. So I can see that this website right here, their URL structure is the wellness center. And then their title tag says wellness specialist in Plano in Dallas. So this is not the most optimized as you can see. Let's very quickly go to their website. So right away, we can see that they're actually located in Plano, but their main page that's ranking is not their homepage. So you can see there might be some type of confusion or some indexing problems because if your business is actually in that city, you want your homepage to be ranking, right? So this gives me a good signal that this would be something to rank for, right? If they're able to rank with this URL, which is an extension to their homepage, right? It's their, it's their main URL slash the one that's center. And then how I was able to lay out our URL structure, it is splendorview.com slash Plano Holistic Doctor, right? You can see it right there. And then the title tag says Plano Holistic Doctor Heroes, Integrative and Holistic Medicine, right? So the title tag is way more optimized, right, than this, as you can see here. And that's going to be one of your main advantages if you see some weak URL structure, some weak meta titles. That is a good way to get above them very quickly, right? All right, let's go back to our page. So this is one of our city pages, right? You can see we have the keyword right, right when you land onto this page. We have our keyword mentioned again, right above the fold, right? So you wanna include your keywords and a call to action right above the fold. And that just means before they scroll down, right? You wanna make sure you have your keywords and a call to action before a consumer has to scroll down, right? You don't want them to have to scroll down the page in order to click on a call to action and be able to contact you. 
And besides that, you know, we just did some basic on page SEO. We have our keyword over here and you want to obviously structure these, your H1, your H2, your H3 in chronological order, right? Then we have another call to action. We have our services nicely laid out. And then we just have more additional content, right? Supporting our overall theme, which is holistic medicine. And that's what you want to do when you're creating these uh, silos, right? These silos of your URL structure, because this would not be something that a visitor could physically click on if they land on our homepage, right? You will only be able to land on this page if you're looking in that particular city, right? So first of all, I created some, let me see if I can pull it up. I created a list, I guess not. Oh, here it is. So I created this list, which is pretty much the factors that you want to take in consideration when you're trying to build out these city pages. So first of all, you want to decide, are you a service provider, right? Do you go to the actual clients? Do you go to their homes to provide a service? For an example, if you're a landscaper or a plumber, or you do, you know, flooring, etc. These are all services that you actually go to the clients, right? So you want to have a more categorized and structured silo in order to let Google know that you service those actual areas, right? And the way to do that would be to put your website.com slash location slash city. And this way it'll be very nicely structured and Google will be able to tell right away that these are cities that you actually service, right? And if you're a brick and mortar, uh, now this is not exactly how you do it, but I found great results doing it this way. Um, and for the example that I'm showing you with my client, they are a brick and mortar, right? So people come to us. So I just like to do yourwebsite.com slash the city, right? This way people can actually click on it from your home page. Instead, they can only click on it if they come about it on the search result, right? Now, one thing you want to take into consideration is the best way to do this is to first get your ranking for your main keyword on your homepage, right? So if your main homepage is targeting, let's say it's targeting Houston, Texas, you first want to make sure you get that ranking on the first page for Houston and then start building out your location pages. Now I've just found this way to make it way more easier instead of trying to rank for a bunch of different locations at the same time. Especially if you get the major city ranking first, that's gonna help you to bring that relevancy that you want in order to rank for the other cities that are smaller uh, around your main city page, right? So that's just one piece of advice is to first rank for your main page and then do your city pages. And then of course you want to have at least 300 words just because you don't want Google to penalize you for having thin content, right? And you don't just want to copy and paste, right? You want to watch out for duplicate content. This is very important when you're building out city pages because a lot of people, a lot of businesses and a lot of SEO companies pretty much just copy and paste the same content across your different city pages. And this is pretty much doing nothing for you unless it is a very, very low competitive keyword or key phrase, right? You want to make sure that each of those city pages has unique content related to that city, right? And then you want to have a unique meta title and meta description. Just like I showed you before, you want to have each city and a keyword in that meta title, right? And in the meta description, if you can make it look natural and make it optimized for the users, right? And of course you want to have your on page SEO down. So let's go back to our page. Now, obviously what I did here, I have my on page SEO and then I added our keyword in the alt tag of this image, right? So if I would go into WordPress and bring up this photo, you would see that in the alt tag, I have holistic Dr. Plano, right? Cause that's the city that we're targeting. And you want to do the same thing for the images that you actually have on this page, right? That's just gonna help the relevancy and it's just gonna be a little extra boost besides your URL structure, your headers, right? And you can even include a map if you want it in here, 
but I don't just because, because I don't want to confuse the users that we're located in that city. I just make it seem like we service residents of that area, but we don't physically come to them, right? We're a, we're a medical clinic, people come to us, right? But they're in the nearby towns where they would be willing to drive, you know, 10, 15 minutes to come visit us, right? That wouldn't be a problem. So that's pretty much it guys. When you're building out these city pages, just watch out for duplicate content, get your on page right, uh, figure out your URL structure and just plan it out strategically. You know, look out for those easy keywords that you can target those easy cities where it's low competition and just build out your city pages, right? If it makes sense, if it brings your business or your customer more value, right? So that's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys learned something new. Leave me a like, leave me a comment below if you have any questions and make sure you subscribe. We just hit a hundred subs. I'm so thankful for you guys for liking this content and I will be putting out another link building video tomorrow. So make sure you subscribe guys for more SEO digital marketing content. All right guys, take it easy and I'll see you guys later. Peace.